Hello subscribers and friends of our YouTube channel called If This Car Could Talk. Today is episode number 116 and it's a special one. What makes this one special is that not only is it a timeless classic in the form of a modernized Ford Model A, but it belongs to some good friends of ours that were gracious enough to give us some of their time recently to bring you the car and its story. We'll let owner Robert Miller give you all the details on his sweet two-door sedan. We're sure you'll agree that this car is super cool. Be sure to give this video the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss even one of our weekly posted videos. Now, let's go for a ride. My name is Robert Miller. Um, I have a 1929 Ford Model A. It started out where I was looking for one because when I was a kid, I would have my mother bring me uh, those little Hot Wheels cars, and especially when I was sick. So it was kind of a way to perk me up, I guess. And I fell in love with, I don't know, probably about four cars in particular. And one of them was the Ford Model A, so that's why I went looking for it. And I actually started looking for one right after Mom passed away. It kind of felt like a connection for me. And so uh, I, I found this one in Northern California, and I called the gentleman up, and we talked at length. And he explained to me that the reason he was getting rid of it is just because he was way up there in age, and his kids didn't want it, and he was looking for somebody that would take good care of it and enjoy it just as much as he has. So we continued to talk and we came up with a, an agreed upon price and he even split the cost of the freight to my house which was pretty cool. Um, we eventually got it uh, shortly after that and I remember the guy delivered it at 10 o'clock at night and the guy that was delivering it offered me like five thousand dollars more than what I had paid for it just without unloading it off the trailer. So obviously it was appreciated right away. So that was pretty cool. Uh, it was in really good condition. It had a two-tone paint. Uh, the paint was was good from, you know, it's one of those 20 footers as they say, it had chips everywhere. So the engine um, is actually, a, it's a, so it's a Ford Model A, but it's got a Chevy 350 in it with a turbo 350 transmission. Uh, but there is obviously some things I ended up having to do being that we live in the Phoenix area and I had to add air conditioning which is the first thing we did and we're grateful for that for sure. We had to then deal with the overheating problem because of going from Northern California to Phoenix it was a little bit of a struggle so what we did is uh, somebody I know that is big into cars helped me and we moved the uh, radiator forward four inches. We took out the mechanical fan and put in electrical fans. Well, of course, that meant that you had to redo the hood because now the hood's four inches short. So we had to have the hood specially uh, made to extend it. Well, now the hood has to be painted. So what the choice was, do I paint just the hood or do I paint the whole car? So we ended up deciding to paint the whole car. That whole process took about six or seven months. Uh, but it was well worth it because we love the color, um, we love the pinstriping on it, uh, the, the work on it is, is done really well. Uh, we also did a little bit of stuff to the interior but, but really not a whole lot. The car doesn't have uh, any heat whatsoever, um, but you say, well this is Phoenix. Well it does get a little cold in the winter, even so. So what we did instead of adding heat to the car is we just added 
seat heaters. Um, so we can just flip a switch and it heats our bodies up as we drive along. And we actually used that about a year ago and wow, what a difference. It really, it really helps just enough to take that edge off. So we enjoyed that as well. Um, the side running boards were a problem. When I first got the car, there were all sorts of chips in it. We decided to go ahead and add, um, on the running boards, we decided to change that instead of paint, changed it to a black rubber, um, which really makes a huge difference. Um, takes away that, that scratch possibility immediately. So overall, car is in great condition. We love it. We've taken it to several car shows. It always gets a lot of attention. Uh, whether you're driving and just people randomly give you the thumbs up or whether you're parked at a car show and people are, check it, are checking it out. Being that it's an old car, um, you always like to do kind of different, unique, fun things. And so uh, at the school, there's a daddy-daughter dance that they were doing every year. And so I was able to take my daughters to the daddy-daughter dance um, in this car or take pictures next to it and everything. And uh, of course, they, that made them feel pretty special as well. We'd again like to thank our friends Robert and Heidi Miller for sharing their beautiful 1929 Ford Street Rod with all of our viewers and subscribers today. Please leave a comment and tell us any memories you have of a Model A, a Street Rod, or whatever else is on your mind. Hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you don't already. This coming Thursday, in honor of Veterans Day, we're bringing you a special story about a man who along with two of his army buddies bought a 1959 Mercury Park Lane convertible, fixed it up, and now one of them is the car's current owner. The coolest part is that this car has kept these guys and their wives connected for over 50 years now as they reunite once a year at a car show. You won't want to miss this one as we pay tribute to all of the men and women who have so honorably served or are currently serving our country. Until then, Remember, please be careful out there.